Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome back. We're on a little bit of Euro Truck Simulator 2 because we've been in a train quite a bit these last couple of weeks, haven't we? And it's been a while since we went driving a truck and we're in Spain. I've picked up a quick job actually um, in Granada and we are going up to Malaga to deliver some used plastics. It's just under 200 kilometers. So, uh, am I going this way? I think so. We're in the Mercedes, of course. Mercedes Actros, which I picked up a couple of videos ago. You remember I bought it used. Uh, they're quite expensive if you try and buy, buy them new, but I wanted an employee, so I needed an additional truck. So I bought this one, actually. Uh, it was about, I think it's about 150k, which wasn't bad, was it? And it's working out to be a very, very useful truck. And I quite like driving this one, actually. We had a Scania before, if you remember. And I've given that to my employee. I think his name's Cameron. He keeps flashing up at the bottom that he's uh, he's made us a couple of grand here and there. So, you know, he's doing his job. He's paying his way. But, uh, yeah, we're in Spain. It looks like a very hot, uh, hot morning, doesn't it? Seven minutes past ten a.m. And, uh, wow, every time I jump in this, I keep thinking, what a lovely game it is. And I think we got the Grease DLC coming out very soon. So that's something to look forward to. Um, I've got a little bit of money in my uh, Steam account. So when that comes out, I will definitely be uh, partaking in a little bit of that, I think. But let's get up onto the motorway, shall we? And uh, we'll get these used plastics over to Malaga. Oh, it's a bit of a struggle to get up this hill. Flicking through the low gears to get up there. Looks good, that, isn't it? It does look nice. I love that black. That's just a standard colour, that. I've not done anything to it. Uh, I bought it in that black livery, so I'm quite pleased with that. Right, let's try and squeeze on, shall we? There we go. So, looks like, uh, just looking at the mini-map, I've already been to this area of the map before. I can see the yellow line, which I think is another really useful feature, you know, of this. Uh, am I going off there? No, I'm not. I can't do. It is useful to be able to see where you've been, because once you've got all the map DLCs, which I have got at the moment, um, I like to try and pick out places on the map where I haven't been yet, but it might appear actually that I've not actually been to the right here. Let's just check it out. Uh, a little bit of speed as I'm coming down here. That's not good. We're meant to be doing 40. Let's not get any speeding tickets, which are, are switched on, by the way. And uh, yeah, it looks like this is a new bit of road for me, this. 171 kilometers to go. Uh, still speeding. This definitely has a... a Spain feel about it, doesn't it? The environment. Very dry looking. Very, very hot and humid. Um, and uh, I need to get out onto this way. Uh, we're going to let me out. Thank you. So, that's one good thing about these DLCs. I think, even in the American truck, they've got the areas that you're passing through you know, pretty spot on. You can believe you're in Spain with this. The only thing you can't feel is the heat. I've got to assume that our guy's got his, uh, he's got his air conditioning on. Because it is going to be boiling in this cab. I suppose these uh, these modern trucks have got all the mod cons. And, uh... Oh, wow, look at this. Let's just pop out, shall we, and try not to crash. Wow, that's really nice. Look at that water. There's a dam over there, actually. Oh, wow. I've got to watch. I don't go to the side. The windsock is blowing this way as well. I need to pay attention to that. Wow. That's the other thing about this game. You can suddenly find yourself in a really nice area. 
that you didn't expect. There's so much to see. And that's outside of the little... Uh, they, they give you, like, tourist videos, don't they? Like, places you can go and visit, um, which gives you a sort of panoramic view of where you are. Um, I've done a few of those, actually, in Spain. I did one just before this video. And uh, there's places you can take photographs, but actually there's a lot of places that you'll naturally just find as you're driving around, which I quite like about this. I like the discovery aspect. And I'm going to put the cruise control on just whilst we go along here because I don't want to I don't want to speed again. It's like we're heading for these two tunnels under this hill. And we get up to 90 on this road. So the sleep meter should be good. I did sleep just before this and the fuel's good. It's pretty good on fuel this one. So we shouldn't need to fill that up. It's only a short distance this one anyway. But I'm trying to get around Spain and Portugal a little bit in the map and discover some of that. That's why I'm hanging about in this area. And then uh, I'll start moving east a little bit, I think. And uh, eventually we'll get plenty of it discovered. I don't... let me just check, actually. If I... Uh, if I go to this... Uh, what does it tell me? It's in the... it's in the map view, isn't it? Where it tells me how much I've discovered. Let's have a quick look. 17%. That's all I've discovered. But we're right down this bottom end, look, in Spain. Uh, there's a little bit of Portugal that I've done. But you see, I've still got so much to discover. Um, and I want to come across I want to come across here. To these islands. Um, and then we can come across to the bottom of Italy where the boot is. But but look over here. I've not I've hardly been anywhere around here. I think this was the last DLC, wasn't it? Was it the Baltics? Is this kind of area. I've not I've not really been in there. Um, but yeah, obviously UK I've done a little bit, and I've been up here. I've not done anything up here. So, yeah, there's lots and lots of places I can still visit. And it feels like I've played quite a bit, but it's only 17%. That's the measure of a good game, I think, when you've got so much to discover like that, and you're on 17%, and you feel like you've been everywhere. So... Let's just uh, put the cruise back on, then we're safe. There we go. That's it. We've only got 80 kilometres actually to go, so it is a short hop. I'm using the Xbox controller with this one. The, uh, the wheel is in its box again, just for now, because I've been making a lot of... Uh, train and railway related content just recently. I've not had the room on the desk to uh, to do that, to have it out permanently. When I get the wheel out, I like to, to keep it out for a while, record a few things, and then I put it away again, because I'm in a I am in a small a small room. But everything's looking good. Little bit of traffic on the road. What time is it? 12.12. 12. Now we're due in at one minute past. Uh, one minute past one, looks like. So, let me know down in the comments if you want to see a little bit more Euro Chuck, because we can easily do this on a couple of live streams. We've done a couple before. Um, but I want to uh, I want to see what you guys think and uh, I need to get over uh, because I quite like playing it but I can easily play it for hours and hours on end and we can do a we can do a decent run so just make sure you let me know next few weeks as I said TSW is coming up so we're gonna be playing lots and lots of TSW so don't worry if you're here for the trains 
trains will be back. It's just nice to go and do something a little bit different, isn't it? Right, 30 kilometres. Let's get over this side. I think if you indicate early enough, the AI is pretty good. The AI will let you in, although sometimes, look at this guy on the left in the mirror. The, the travelling that fast is difficult to find a spot to pull out sometimes, but... Right, we are coming off here, so we'll stay in this lane. trying to think what the weirdest cargo is this one's this one isn't bad today this is just used plastics there's plenty of that going around I'm just trying to think what what is the weirdest cargo that I've transported in this game because it's all sorts you don't see that's nice Malaga discovered you don't see the cargo obviously um, it's um, it's away inside the truck at the back, but uh, that's maybe a good thing depending on what you're carrying. There's a Volvo dealership down there, look. Should go and discover that once I've dropped this off. Make sure we join this nicely, nothing coming from our left. this graffiti underneath under these bridges I do, I've never really noticed that before I wonder if that's uh, if that's country specific or whether that's everywhere I really haven't noticed it anywhere else that I've been and uh, this trailer this is gonna be interesting when I park it it's like driving a snake <laughs> it's honestly it's like driving a snake um, it's weird because um, I think you're probably meant to have two of those shorter ones on the front, aren't you? The way that the uh, the company name is is sort of split and it doesn't carry on. It's almost as if normally you would have two of those and it would make up a full, you know, a full name like on the back there. Uh, but in our case, we've kind of got one and a half. So let's get uh, let's get around here. I don't want to bring this. We've done all right so far. But yeah, back in the uh, back in the trailer up is going to be uh, a challenge. I don't think I've driven one of these before, but we'll give it our best shot. I don't like skipping the parking. So, right, this is going to be uh, a little bit tighter. Got to watch that tree. Look how narrow this is. I think we're alright. We're alright. So let's check this out. How are we round this uh, round this bend here? Do we need to go? We don't need to. We're going through here, aren't we? Yeah, here we go. I thought we were going through those uh, those barriers at first. That would have been a challenge. There's no way we were doing that. But uh, for now, let's just carefully get it around so we're already on the pavement but oh now I'm being uh, video bombed by that oh look at this look at that signpost there at the back easy does it easy does it we cleared it look at that we cleared it right I'm pleased about that right come on let us in lad there we are right so we're at the depot uh, we are going up to uh, Tiber, which is here on the left. That's the thing we've been saying about this game recently, isn't it? When we've when we've done uh, the streams, is that really no two places look the same in this game. And I don't recall coming into uh, an area like this before with several different delivery places. It's almost like an industrial estate, isn't it? But um, you know, in this case. Uh, it's like you know these 
these sort of uh, partitions here between the uh, the lanes of traffic so you can't you know turn at the wrong spot and all that kind of thing I've not seen that before uh, and I'm wondering do I go down this one yes I go around the back let's hope they give me a nice easy parking activity I don't know I don't think so Right, so where is the where is the parking do I have to go all the way around did I miss it have I missed it perhaps let's have a look I wonder if it's in the middle though oh it's there look at that look where it is it's right up on that ramp right okay so I did miss it, so I'm going to have to go around again. I did not expect that. I, I haven't parked, I'll tell you right now, I haven't parked like that either. So it looks like we might be able to go straight in, perhaps, with this. Rather than reverse it in. So let's give it a try, shall we? We'll go back around again, because it's fine. We've still got a little bit of time, I assume. And uh, we'll see what we can do. The problem is with this, though, is that... Oh, Tiba. Right, hang on. Can I go down there? I, mm, I don't know if I can go down here. I don't know if I'm on the wrong side of the road, you know. Or whether this is the way in on both sides. I don't think so. But I'm going to give it a go. But we are actually delivering to Tiba, even though there is a Mercadonna, which is the livery that we're carrying. There is a Mercadonna down here. Uh, let's give it a go. At least now I know where we're delivering. I need to turn into this one. It's going to be a little bit tight, but I'm going to turn in. And then I'm going to try and deliver it up that ramp. So let's see how we get on. Let's get as much room as we can. Yeah, this is... This is going to be a little bit... Uh, a little bit tricky. Because we've got to go up this ramp. No, I'm not skipping it. Well, we got round, all right. Let's... Uh, Let's right, see what we can do. That's pretty scary having to go up there, you know. There's no there's no railing on this side. I mean you turn your wheel, you're off. Let's just uh let's just see if we can get in. We need to go a little bit forwards. There we go! Where's the decoupling exercise? And that is it. And we got an excellent rating. <laughs> we missed the parking the first time around, but we did it all right. Once, I mean, once you've had a good look, then, then you're fine. So we did 230 kilometers, three and a half hours it took us in game time, of course. And uh, we completed all the parking ourselves and got five grand out of it and 223 XP. So it's all good. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. I uh, just wanted to jump in. I was going to play it anyway. I thought, let's record it. Let's have a chat about Euro Truck Simulator. But do let me know if you want to see more Euro Truck. It's fun when we're all in the stream and we're all chatting, so we can definitely do some of that. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.